academics keep dropping terms like citations, reference lists and referencing styles, as if we should know what they mean, right? But what exactly is referencing? Why is it so important and how does it work? That's why I'm here. Hello! The creative team's brilliant idea to add the fun factor to an otherwise not so fun topic. Do you know what name they gave me? Referella. Yep. Referella. The Cinderella of referencing. Apparently, I can give your references a total makeover. Okay, okay, I'll say it. We're going to have a ball. If you ask me, I think we should rather get this referencing ball rolling. So, when you write an assignment, for example, you often make use of other people's ideas. Very important, you always have to give credit to these people and show where you found their work. This, in essence, is referencing. Not only does referencing show that you are an honest person with integrity, but it also adds gravity to your work. It shows that you put in effort to read and use available information. Now, to make sure the person who reads your work understands the way in which you gave credit, you have to follow a certain referencing style. This is like a formula you apply. If one day you start your own university, you can develop your own style. Until then, you'll have to fall in line. Referencing is not the place where you express your individuality. Many accredited referencing styles exist around the world. At Harvard, a bunch of librarians got together and set down some guidelines, which developed into the Harvard referencing style. The smart people at the American Psychological Association developed a referencing style called the APA. Then there is the MLA, or Modern Language Association style, the Chicago style, the Oxford style, a style law practitioners use, and so on and so forth. The heads of your faculty chose a referencing style, and you need to know what it is and where to find the guidelines. When in doubt, make contact with a librarian. Training you in different referencing styles might just bore you to death. I think it's a case of potato-potato. If you understand how a style works, it will be a cinch to use any of them. So let's wrap it up. Number one, give credit where credit is due. When information is not your own, you have to reference. Number two, many referencing styles exist. You have to find out which one is prescribed in your program of study and follow the style guidelines to a T. In this video series, I will use a version of the Harvard referencing style to get your head around the basics. Click on the next video to learn more. See ya! Me, me, me.